This is the OTB Network. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Horses and Courses. I'm Jean Wood. A very busy weekend of stakes racing action, most of it taking place at Churchill Downs, obviously. We are, however, going to begin on the other side of the country at Hollywood Park with a pair of stakes races this past weekend, beginning with Saturday's running of the Inglewood Handicap, a grade $300,000 for older horses on the turf. Let's head to California, the running of the Inglewood. They're off. Good start. Designed for luck and Le Roi de Zanimo, and there goes Le Roi de Zanimo to take over the lead. Devious Boy away in second. De designed for luck sits third. The entry mates are together. Statement and Tron Air, then Irish Warrior Insane. Golden Dragon has one beat. It's just wonder at the back of the pack as Devious Boy takes charge at the clubhouse turn. But Le Roi de Zanimo going to deny him the fence, and here's Le Roi de Zanimo to counter, and now these two speed off. Designed for luck gets a perfect tracking spot. He is third, and he watches front runners duel a length and a half from the lead. Tronair is at the rail. He's three from the front. Statement and to the outside Irish Warrior both have three and a half lengths to make up. It's another two and a half back to a threesome at the back of the pack. Sane between horses. Golden Dragon at the rail and just wonder three deep. There's a half mile left to run in the 64th Inglewood Handicap and Le Roi de Zanimo and Devious Boy are one two and they're even going into the far turn. Absolutely no excuses for Design for Luck. He's gotten the dream trip. He's a length and a quarter from the front and about to go up three deep. Statement and Tron Error now three from the front. Irish Irish Warrior comes with his run three deep and also four off the lead. Sane and Just Wonder are next and Golden Dragon and they run to the top of the stretch. Le Roi de Zanimo and Devious Boy. These two still won two. Design for Luck's got to go right now. He's a length and a half from the front. Irish Warrior comes with a solid run and they come to the final furlong. Le Roi de Zanimo has put away Devious Boy but he'll have to hold off the onrushing. Design for Luck. Le Roi de Zanimo is clear. Design for Luck is second to the outside Irish Warrior. They come to the wire. Le Roi de Zanimo. The Inglewood handicap goes to Le Roi de Zanimo. He won by two. Design for luck second, photo for third. Le Roi de Zanimo picking up the win by two lengths. This is a horse that had won two consecutive allowance optional claiming races, moved into Stakes Company for the first time in the United States after uh, shipping up from his native Brazil and looked very good, drawing clear from the favorite design for luck with Devious Boy, who was involved dueling it out with the eventual winner throughout the early going, 21 to 1, holding on very nicely to finish third. The winner, Lera Desanimo, picking up the win, a son of candy stripes from December by Ahunora, was bred in Brazil by Aras Baje do Sol, Owned by TNT Stud and trained by Bobby Frankel. Ridden to victory by John Court. Le Roi de Zanimo covers the mile and a 16th on the turf at Hollywood in 138 and 2. We're going to continue with stakes racing action from California with the Railbird Stakes, a grade three hundred thousand dollars for three-year-old filly sprinting seven furlongs. Let's head back to Hollywood, Sunday's running of the Railbird. They're off. Good start. Mazella and Healthy Addiction show speed. M.A. Fox and Aspen Gal close to the pace. All's well that ends well on the move at the rail. Then comes a precious memory and elusive diva. And now Mazella's at the back of the puck. Speedy Falcon takes second and all's well that ends well is a neck in front. Speedy Falcon alongside in second. Aspen Gal attends the pace. Less than a length and a half. Elusive diva just inside of the favorite. Healthy Addiction is fifth. She's two and a half lengths from the front. Mazella's now sixth with four lengths to make up. M.A. Fox has seven lengths to come and a precious memory is the trailer as they go into the far turn in the 42nd railbird stakes and it's all's well that ends well still in front three furlongs from the wire she leads by a half length from speedy falcon in second aspen gal three deep gonna make a move for the front elusive diva's gonna need racing room less than two off the lead healthy addiction has three and a half to come ma fox draws within four of the lead and is on the move in the orange cap then comes mazella and they head for home elusive diva's splits horses. Speedy Falcon, M.A. Fox four deep. Aspen Gal just inside of her and they come to the final furlong. Speedy Falcon just in front. Elusive Diva moves through at the rail. M.A. Fox to the outside. Aspen Gal now back to fourth. Elusive Diva, M.A. Fox. Speedy Falcon, Aspen Gal, Elusive Diva, M.A. Fox. These two to the wire. Elusive Diva! 
The 42nd Railbird goes to Patrick Valenzuela and Elusive Diva. M.A. Fox second, Speedy Falcon third, and Aspen Go finish fourth. Elusive Diva picking up the win, the second stakes win on the weekend for the uh, offspring of Elusive Quality. Of course, we all know the uh, the first one was, but uh, Elusive Diva picks up a nice neck victory as five to one third choice in the wagering over M.A. Fox with Speedy Falcon involved from the start and holding on to uh, the third spot in a very close photo finish. Aspen Gal was the favorite in the field, finishing fourth, but only a nose behind the third place finisher. The winner, Elusive Diva, three-year-old bay daughter of Elusive Quality from Taj Air by Taj Al Riyad, bred in Kentucky by John Williams Cosoni and Doris Cosoni, owned, uh, owned by Alan Branch and John and Doris Cosoni, and trained by Mark Glatt, ridden to victory by Pat Valenzuela. Elusive Diva covers the seven furlongs of the Railbird in a quick 121 and one. We're going to head to the Big A in New York for their final weekend's worth of stakes racing action. It's been a long stint at the Big A. Belmont Park opens midweek, and uh, we're finishing things up with a trio of very good stakes. We're going to start out with the Withers for three-year-olds. This is a grade three, $150,000 mile. Let's head down to New York in the running of the Withers. And they're off. And far as danger broke well on the outside. Medalist came away racing in second. Then it's Saratoga County, one tough dude, and two down automatic as they uh, move up the chute. Medalist, Forest Danger. Forest Danger with a head in front. Medalist is running in second. Gap of two and a half lengths to one tough dude, two down automatic, and Saratoga County. The first quarter was quick, 22 and two fifth seconds. Up the back stretch. Medalist on the inside now puts a head in front to Forest Danger. It's medalist in front by a half length. Forest Danger is second by three and a half lengths. And then it's two down automatic running in third. Saratoga County is fourth and one tough dude. Now fifth and last. The half mile, 44 seconds. Fast fractions as they move around the far turn and medalist is in front by three quarters of a length. The heavy favorite, Forest Danger, now moves right alongside. It's medalist and Forest Danger, and they're right together, and they've got four lengths on Saratoga County, and two down automatic. Three quarters went in 107 and four. In the stretch now, Medalist trying to hold off Forest Danger. Two down automatic in Saratoga County. Medalist is drifting out in the stretch, but holding on to the lead with a 16th to the finish. Then it's Forest Danger and two down automatic. Medalist way out in the middle of the track, but he's going to win the Withers. Forest Danger second, two down automatic was third. And the time was 134 and two. Medalist making his stakes debut, a winning one. Uh, this is a horse that has been a little bit difficult. A lot of talent, a little bit of uh, difficulty. He did drift out in the stretch. Uh, Georgie Chavez manhandling him a little bit to try to keep him straight. Alan Jerkins put Georgie up thinking that a physically strong rider might help keep him a little bit straighter. Fortunately, he did not have too much concern. He was three and a quarter lengths behind, uh, in front of the eventual uh, second place finisher, Forrest Danger. By the time he uh, got to his antics, Forrest Danger, the heavy odds on choice, running a good second, two down automatic up from the Midwest uh, circuit, picking up the third spot. Medalist, a nice payoff here, a $19 uh, top spot uh, for this horse, trained by Alan Jerkins, who's been sending out long shot winners in bunches. Medalist is a dark Bayer Brown three-year-old son of Touch Gold from Santeria by Stardinascra. Bred in Kentucky by Robert N. Clay and the Albert G. Clay Revocable Trust, owned by Robert Clay and trained by Alan Jerkins. Ridden to victory by Georgie Chavez, medalist goes the flat mile in the 129th running of the Withers in 134 and two. We're going to head back down to New York now for the running of the Bogay Handicap, a grade $300,000 mile in the 16th on the turf course for fillies and mares. Let's head back down to New York in Saturday's running of the Bogay. And they're off. Odd going for the lead with Lojo on the outside and dedication at the rail. Caught in the rain is now up with the front runners. Caught in the rain, now has the lead. Lojo in second, dedication. The odds on favorite just in behind racing in third. Odd is fourth, then it's Bijou, Delta Princess, and Brandala, the trailer in seventh. 
Caught in the Rain is the leader as they move into the clubhouse turn. Caught in the Rain by a length and a half. The opening quarter was 25 and 3. Caught in the Rain setting the slow fractions and leading here by two and a half lengths. Lojo is second, dedication in third, about four and a half from the front. And then it's Odd, followed by Bijou, Delta Princess, and Brandella. They're on the back stretch now. And it's caught in the rain in front by two and a half lengths. Lojo in second. Dedication has moved to the outside, racing third. Odd is fourth. A gap of two to Bijou, Delta Princess. And at the back is Brandella. The half mile in 51 and two. Caught in the rain. Setting the slow fractions and leading the field into the far turn. Lojo is running in second. Dedication is third. Still two and a half from the front. Then it's Odd, Delta Princess, Bijou, and Brandella. They turned for home. Three quarters went in 16 and three. Caught in the rain. Here's Dedication on the outside. And Odd is gaining ground at the rail. Odd, Dedication. Dedication on the outside. And Odd at the rail. And Dedication's in front. Odd is second. Then Caught in the rain. Dedication takes it. Three parts of a length. Odd was second, then caught in the rain in Delta Princess. Dedication makes her uh, first start at the Big A, a winning start. She is a French Group 1 winner, now in the barn of Christophe Clement, and looked very impressive stalking just off the early pace on the turf course labeled good. Odd running well to finish in the second spot after a ground-saving trip, caught in the rain. Showed her usual alert early speed and held on well to finish third. The winner, Dedication, is a five-year-old Gray Arone mare, a daughter of highest honor from dissertation by Sillery. She was bred in France by Alec and Ghislaine Head, owned by Ghislaine Head, and trained by Christophe Clement. Ridden to victory by Javier Castellano. Dedication covers the mile in the 16th on the good turf in 146 and 2. One more stakes from the weekend at the Big A. The, great, the ungraded Kings Point handicap for New York State breads. $75,000 for older horses going nine furlongs. Let's head back down to New York for the final stakes of the Aqueduct meet, the Kings Point. And they're off. There goes Mr. V to grab the early lead. A private emblem broke well, racing in second on the outside is Vault. Then it's trial prep, Lavendus and Gander will be the early trailer in sixth as they move around the clubhouse turn. Mr. V leads by a length. Vault second by a head, a private emblem towards the inside in third. Then it's a length and a half to trial prep in fourth. Lavendus in fifth and Gander at the back. The opening quarter was run in 24 and two fifth seconds. And they've reached the back stretch. And it's private emblem now to take over. Private Emblem leads by a length. Mr. V back running in second. There goes Lavendus moving up on the inside to take third. Extreme outside, it's a Gander. Vault is right there along with Trial Prep. They are tightly bunched, just three and a half lengths separating the entire field and the half one in 48 and four fifth seconds. Private Emblem by a half length. Mr. V is second by three.